This is a first, a British Apache attack helicopter deployed in the Arctic Circle. It's here so the Army Air Corps can develop an Arctic capability and 656 Squadron have been given that role. So this is the first time that uh, any Army Air Corps pilots with Apache have been out here. The Army Air Corps operated out here for a long time before that. Uh, but we're looking to, at the moment, just develop a basic day and night capability, so night landings, day landings, uh, then moving into mountains and that's to come and then we've got pairs operations but it all forms part of our environmental training uh, here in, in Norway. 656 Squadron is on exercise clockwork in Bardafoss, traditionally a training opportunity for the Commando Helicopter Force. In recent years its scope has widened. Air crews and engineers from across the services are trained here. This time, it's 847 Naval Air Squadron on the northern flank. A training in such harsh conditions isn't straightforward. Being this far inside the Arctic Circle, of course, they're going to be playing the weather game. And as you can quite clearly see, it's not exactly ideal conditions for flying. It is always challenging, but then part of the experience here is to be able to operate in all weathers whenever possible. So. Uh, flying in bad weather is good training for our pilots and air crew and certainly if they've flown in the, these conditions they certainly go back as better aviators than when they arrived. The location becomes more strategic by the day. Last year the Defence Secretary accused Russia of staking a claim in the high north. Gavin Williamson said the Russians were militarising the region and announced his Arctic strategy integrating 800 Royal Marines and their support arms into Norway's defence plan. 656, the designated 3 Commando Brigade Helicopter Attack Squadron. So we're, we're developing the Arctic capability, um, you know, operating in the extreme cold weather, and we can now support 3 Commando Brigade on future exercises up in the, you know, in the extreme, extreme north and in future environments. Being so deep in the Northern Hemisphere, daylight fades rapidly. In an hour since we left the camp, it's almost dark, and it's only three in the afternoon. A break in the weather means the aircraft are out. The aircrew headed on a snow landing's training sortie. The, the real problem with the, the snow landing is you're, you're landing in a snow-covered surface. You've no idea when that snow has fallen, how hard it is, how impacted it is, how soft it is. But the, the net result invariably will be that as you approach your landing site, you'll be enveloped in a snow cloud. And that is obviously disorientating. And the main thrust of the training that we're doing out here is to teach the air crew how to deal with landing in that snow cloud and to do it safely. The next day, a band of high pressure arrives, providing some fairly stunning conditions for training. It's only the second time the Commando Wildcats has deployed to the Arctic. We came before in 2016, we're back here three years later in 2019. Uh, but there's lots of, of corporate knowledge and experience throughout Commando Helicopter Force for many years of deploying to the Arctic um, and taking advantage of the exceptional training value that it offers. As a battlefield reconnaissance aircraft, it needs to be able to go anywhere the Royal Marines go. That means three months of this hostile environment for air crews and engineers who are getting up to speed. Uh, it's going good, yeah, really good. Uh, first time in Norway. Um, the cold's very interesting, um, but it's good to be able to know that you can operate in the warmer weathers as well as the cold weather climates. Operating in Norway is um, a very challenging place to operate um, through uh, very changeable weather. Uh, it's obviously, obviously very cold out here, um, uh, and we're pushing the aircraft uh, to its limits, uh, as well as pushing all of our aircrew to their limits. Um, operating in what can be a very, very difficult um, environment to, to, to work in. The 
The exercise has identified lessons they need to learn, but there's already ambitions for Arctic training to become a regular event for the Apaches. We're looking to live fire the 30mm gun um, in about sort of two weeks' time. Hopefully that will be a really good proof of capability out here. All things going well, we should be out again next year in 2020 to support three Camaro brigades on exercise cold response. The squadron's training will end in a live firing exercise with the Norwegians, after which they will return to the UK. But more British helicopters will be taking their turn after that. 845 Naval Air Squadron and its Merlin Mark 3s are due to go into these freezing conditions next.